So when I hear the word constant, I think y equals mx plus b, the equation of a straight line. Okay, constant means it's increasing or decreasing the same amount each time period. Um, so Chris uh, initially has $130 saved, and after four months he has $250 saved. And they're asking for a rate at which Chris is saving. A rate is like a slope. Okay, you would take the it's usually the dollars per time period, right? In this case, it's months. They started at $130, and then after four months, they had $250. So that's an increase of $120 bucks over four months. Now, it doesn't have to be this way. You could put months up top and dollars on bottom, but that doesn't really make any sense, right? Because we don't talk about things, we don't talk about um, months in terms of the, uh, yeah, months in terms of dollars. It's just such a weird thing to say. Like saying you earn 30 months per dollar, we're not earning time, right? We don't, <laughs> without getting into philosophical debate, we're not earning time. We're earning money per time period. So the long and short of it is that your time period usually is your x variable. It goes on the bottom. So 120 divided by 4, that's 30. So it's $30 for every one month is what we just calculated. Sorry about the handwriting there, but that's all we need. $30 per month. <clears throat> uh, college students taking the same number of credits each semester. Six when she start uh, when she started, and after six semesters she has six six. Okay, so this is another good slope problem. It's asking us to calculate a rate of change. So you could do it in two different ways, but it probably only. Oops, I think I just gave away the answer. But <laughs> you do it in two different ways. You could do it credits per semester, or you could do semesters per credit. And which one makes more sense? We don't we. It's it's the semesters that determines the credits, right? It's not the credits that determines the semesters. So in our world, we will put the independent variable on the x and for the x variable. In other words, we want semesters to be on bottom because semesters are causing a change in credits. More semesters, more credits. The dependent variable goes on top. Okay. Um, but either way, if that whole conversation is confusing you, you're probably okay. Uh, the big idea is that your independent variable, like time, uh, goes on bottom. And the thing that's getting affected by that independent variable goes up top, the dependent variable. Okay, so 66 credits. Uh, wait, she's had six credits to start. And after six semesters, she had 66. So that's a gain of 60 credits over six semesters, which simplifies to be 10. They're earning 10 credits per semester. <clears throat> Bob is spending money. Look, these are all basically the same. Starts with a thousand. After eight months, he has two hundred dollars. So Bob lost eight hundred dollars over eight months. So that's a change of a negative a hundred dollars per month. Negative meaning our amount of money decreased. We can check my answers. Yeah, yeah. All right. 